the Caterpillars and today we are doing a review on The Ordinary's new salicylic acid 2% androgynous solution formulated for blemish prone skin. So they finally came back with this product, they re-updated it, they used to have the salicylic acid 2% solution um, and I loved it. It used to come in a white bottle, now it comes in this amber dropper bottle, which used to come in a white dropper bottle, kind of like this, but smaller. Um, and it was my favorite. I absolutely loved the original formula. I loved it so much that it disappeared for two years. They said they were updating the formula. I'm not really sure why, because I thought the formula was great. Probably they ran out of things that they couldn't get anymore, but I thought it was wonderful. So then I started using instead of i use the nicotinamide 10 percent plus zinc um it says high strength vitamins and mineral blemishing formula i like this one more than i like this one so this one used to be the original used to be a very lightweight light textured serum this one now more feels like it is an oil it's in like an oil base type of thing like it's kind of like I don't mean it's oily like oily to touch but it's it's a thicker solution than the other one used to be it's I would say it's a little bit more oily like that's how I can describe it is it's kind of an oil Do you see how like oily that looks? Is that just me? Whoops, you can see my other shirt. But is it just me? Or is that? That seems oily to me, don't you guys think? I don't know, it's just, like my hands just look oily and feel greasy and then it gets a little gritty once you start rubbing it in. I just, I don't love it. A bit more sticky, it definitely feels more like an oily, type of solution than like a watery solution is what I'll say. Like my hands definitely, I don't think it's shiny afterwards and it just feels like I put on like my schooling oil on my hand or something like that. Like when I put on my face and then too, if I rub it in a little bit, it starts to kind of get grainy. And I don't really like that aspect. It's not like a crazy grainy, but I do find it gets a little gritty. Once I start, look, if I rub in my face, I apply it all over my face and then I go back in to like rub it in more, it gets grainy and it just starts feeling like little graduals. And I don't love that. And I really, really love the original solution. Absolutely. Thebomb.com, I raved about it so much. And so I was really excited when they brought it back and it's just not as good as the original. Like it's a salicylic acid solution and I used to find it really helped, but I don't really notice like between the two of them if I had to choose, the nicotinamide one works better for me now. Like I like the texture more, it's more lightweight, it's watery. Then this guy is, it's just, it's oily and I don't love that. Like. My face feels a little sticky, my hand feels tacky right now, like I can definitely tell that there's like an oily emulsion on my hand type of thing. Like I don't love I keep saying like so many times. I just I don't like it. It just it's not as good as the original formula was. The original formula was more watery, it was more lightweight. Not that this one's not lightweight, but it just feels oily if I can make that sense but it's not in the sense of like it's a straight oil it's a lighter weight oily texture but it's still oily and I like the other one that was really watery and really light and I just I don't like that they changed it so I think I'm just gonna x and a on you thinking I only bought myself a little one I don't know if this one comes in the bigger like 60 ml bottle or not but I just bought the 31 just in case I don't know if it does or not um but it's just not not as good as the original one used to be. If you want something more like the original, the nicotinamide one is a good like substitute for the salicylic acid one. Blemish prone skin. I find I really like this one now, and I've been using it for a really long time because they got rid of this one for two years, and then they brought it back, and it's not as good as the original formula. So I don't know why they changed it. Probably they couldn't get product like probably they couldn't get a certain ingredient or ingredients. I don't know. 
but I don't think they made it better. I feel like they said they're updating the formula. I'm like, I hate this new formula. I like the original formula better. Um, I love a lot of things the Ordinary does. Some of them are my favorite. Some are hits or misses, you know, and this for me is just a miss. I mean, if you really need salicylic acid, it's nice. It doesn't break me out. It does feel lightweight. It does work on your makeup, but it does feel a little oily on my skin. I put other things over top of it, but still it is a little like oily in texture. Um, and I prefer kind of more of a watery like serum than an oily like serum. Anyways, I mean, that's just personal preference too, but it does wear on your makeup. I have it right now underneath my makeup, but I have other things over top of it too that kind of help counteract the oiliness. Like, I don't know if I'd want to just wear this alone under makeup because it might start making my makeup move around. I don't know though. Uh, but I do wear it under makeup and it is fine for that. It just leaves my skin feeling a little shiny and a little oily. So I don't love that. But, yeah. I just found the original one was so much better and I'm sad that they changed it to this one. If you're wondering about trying it, I mean, give it a try, but it is definitely more of an oily and sometimes I find it's gritty too, and I don't love that um, consistency. I definitely like this and I one better, and this one comes in a 60ml bottle. I don't know about this one. Like I said, I can't remember if they, maybe they've updated it. Maybe it does come in a 60ml bottle. I don't know. I mean, either way, like, they're not super expensive because it's the Ordinary, and the Ordinary is a very budget affordable uh, brand, and I love that because it's, you get a lot for super cheap and it's like why would I want to spend $50 on a 30 or 15 mil bottle of serum that I'm going to go through in a month when I could spend $5 or under $10 and get like a 30 or 60 mil bottle of a serum that lasts me just as long you know and works just as good so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review I hope you found it helpful I'll see you guys later guys bye bye